Hey everyone, welcome back to Lady Grace Crystal Corner. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing of an order from the Dirty Rock Shoppers on Facebook. Um, Lisa is a very good friend of mine. She has amazing deals and excellent quality crystals. So I hope you enjoy. As you can see, I have blocked out all of the address information and it's just for my safety and for the seller as well. What I'm going to do is take everything out of here so that we have room to display it all. We set it on the table and then move the box. As you can see, everything is bubble wrapped. Everything is always so well packaged. What I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to unwrap everything, set it off to the side, and then place everything out so you can see what it is. And that way we don't take up too much of your time listening to bubble wrap. So here's the haul. Obviously this is the Orthoceros plaque. It's a pretty good size. I have got a ton of Orthoceros from her. Okay, and next, this from what I understand is pretty rare. I have not seen it before, which doesn't necessarily make it rare, it just means that it's something that I hadn't come across until she sent this to me in a private message. The next one is a light green opal, it's a palm stone. Um, it is not a bright green opal, which is fine with me because I typically am not super fond of green stones. Um, this one, though, had some kind of an energy, and it drew me in. I thought, yeah, I think I need that. So this is my green opal palm stone. Regardless of the fact that I just said that I'm not big on green stones, <laughs> I also purchased two um, tumbled epidote. And that's because all I have are raw specimens, and I like to have tumbles. Even though it's still a little rough after the tumble, they're not polished. Um, I like to have them in my everyday carry bags. I like to put them in medicine bags. Um, I like to have some extra tumbles because I like to give a lot of gifts. But, um, sometimes I just feel like they need to be rehomed. So if I like a stone in the raw form, I'll usually pick a couple up in tumbles just to share. They're usually less expensive and they're definitely more portable and a lot less fragile. Yeah. <clears throat> Next are the 20 millimeter spheres. And unless you're buying wholesale, you're not going to find these any less expensive than Lisa. Um, she sells her 20 millimeter spheres for $2 a piece. I love buying my little baby spheres from her, my little mini spheres. These are super portable. They make amazing gifts. And um, I can't get enough of them. I can't say enough about them. And you just, you're not going to find them any less expensive. Okay. Okay, the next thing that I have is an ocean jasper heart, <laughs> but it's what we call a wonky little heart. And it's ocean jasper, which I am normally not particularly fond of. Um, I do like the polychrome jasper mixed with the ocean jasper because that tends to get a lot of pinks and blues. And um, this little guy just kind of stuck out. And it's a, you know, I'm a little beat up. I'm a little bruised. I'm not quite perfect, but I'm a heart and I have really good energy, so take me home. So that's what I did. Speaking of Ocean Jasper, and knowing what I just said about it, this guy did not go unnoticed. <laughs> this is Ocean Jasper, but it is the most beautiful Ocean Jasper. It's got blues, it's got browns, it's yeah. got greens. And I have never seen one in this color. It looks even bluer on camera. Which is fine by me because this sucker is gorgeous. And the universe brought him home. He will not ever, ever, ever be up for sale any day. This is a golden healer. And it is a little mini pillow palm. Oh, beautiful rainbows. You can't, can't really pick them up in this light, which is something that's on my list before our next video is better lighting. <laughs> because unless I stand outside, you are not gonna see the beauty in these guys anywhere. So that's my new little golden healer. 
my bracelets. I don't know if you got to see them in the still shot or in the slideshow that we did for my first video, but at some point we'll get, we'll get all of them. Um, I kind of have an obsession. I love wearable gemstones. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars on something that I'm going to wear while I'm doing household chores or running errands, but these will give me the energy and the benefits of the stones without being cumbersome. And although it's always sad if something gets bumped or broken, um, these are much less expensive yet with all of the quality of the larger pieces. These are both mahogany obsidian and this one is a matte beaded mahogany obsidian, which means it doesn't have the high polish, but it's nice because it's the smaller beads and um, a little less likely to get caught on anything. This one, of course, is carnelian. There are some plastic beads mixed in with it, but only three, and then the little copper bead in between, just as a spacer. Um, I love carnelian. I love the energy of carnelian. Um, one of the first free forms I ever purchased was a carnelian at a local gem show and it just had some of the most amazing cream colored detail that it just stuck with me and there was nothing I could do I was hooked. Take for example this little egg. <laughs> this has just got some really cool designs and for me I like to stare at them and see what pops out at me because you never know when you're going to see a face or um, a tree or some kind of scenery that most people wouldn't see depending on how you look at it. Looks and like caramel, it's really exactly, nice. Exactly, this kind of reminds me of a Cadbury cream egg. And because I purchased this uh, shortly after Easter, that's the first thing that popped into my mind was that looks almost good enough to eat. <laughs> so there's my little carnelian egg. This guy, <clears throat> these are all natural striations. This is not cracks, this is not broken. These are not pieces that were low quality or left off to the side. This is um, a uh, silky fluorite, and I have wanted a silky for a very long time. And again, um, this is a polished formed heart, and the lines that you see are natural striation in the gem itself. You can see the patterns are all natural, and it's just the way that the, the formation grows. So it just makes every little piece that much more unique and personal. This is the same as those other two bracelets that I just showed. This oh, is also mah mahogany mm -hmm. obsidian. But um, I see the face, like a face right there and then some hair. I can't see it from your angle and I'm probably not going to flip it around. But when I watch, I'm sure I'll find it with you because we are always doing that. And these are just some rough pieces. They're polished pieces, um, things that made it into the tumbler that didn't quite get formed into anything. And they're still a little rough on the edges. So, of course, because obsidian is glass-like, they're a little sharp. But um, super strong. I love them. Mahogany obsidian is another favorite. And these will go into my rough collection in my curio shortly. This is another piece that I had not ever heard of before. Um, I had heard of it, but not come into contact with it. It's called uh, Hulandite. From I India. Think. It's from India. Um, I think the matrix on this is what's pink. I don't know if the stone itself is pink, but I haven't seen enough of it to know for sure. I'm going to probably do a little more research, but I'm one of those. I don't have that. I need it. I have to have it. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to get it kind of people. So this was something that I did not have in my collection and decided that I needed to add. So I picked it up. Um, it's a nice little bracelet. I don't know if I will keep it or if I will gift it. I purchased it because of the way it looked uh, in the photos. I do like it. I like the way it feels. I'm going to have to play with that a little more to decide whether that's going to stay with me or be rehomed. This is an obsidian piece. Um, with a glass bead. It's just a little glass bead for an accent. It's pretty. And it is very pretty. And I think this might even have some silver sheen or rainbow obsidian in it, but I can't tell under this light because again, it's terrible lighting. Um, <clears throat> obsidian, as you'll come to find out, is one of my absolute favorite stones. I love obsidian. Me too. So this is called Kesara stone. Another one that I don't know a whole lot about. Um, has little plastic spacer beads in it but it just adds a little bit of an accent and it brings it up a little bit from your typical beaded bracelet. Uh, they look very jaspery to me. Yeah. Almost a little polychrome but it's called Kesara stone and again I'm gonna have to look a little further into that. It's very lightweight so I'll be checking into that one for sure. 
course, this is another one of my favorites. This is Larva Kite. And I love the shiller and the flash that these little guys put off. So I'm perfectly happy with my Larva Kite. This one is, we believe, a Phantom Quartz. Or um, it actually looks more like a Scenic Quartz. But there may be some green phantoms in there. Like this one here, you can see it looks a little bit like a Scenic. It just depends. Another green one. And I buy these mostly because I don't have a lot of green. I really like the chip bracelets. I think they're nice. I do too. I like the chips because they're not pointed. They're very well polished. They're not uncomfortable. They're very inexpensive. And they come in a variety of different stones. Uh, the only downfall that I can say is if you're working at a desk where you are using a keyboard, um, make sure that you get the smaller chips or you get the round beads because they will click and they will leave an impression on your wrist if you're not careful. But if you don't mind that, I love the chip bracelets. I really do. Uh, one of my favorite stones, I say that about a lot of them, but this <laughs> one truly has a really soft energy to me. A lot of people will disagree that Lepidolite is a soft energy, but Lepidolite for me, um, is actually a sleep aid. I can put uh, a little worry stone or I can put a tumble in my pillow with some Mukite Jasper and um, it's very calming, very serene feel. And I just love the kind of mellow feel I get from Lepidolite. Uh, the palm stone is nice because it's something that you can fiddle with, something that you can use to keep your hands busy while you put your mind at ease. Wait, it's good for meditation. So what is it called? Lipidolite. So couldn't you call it Lephidolite? Aha, uh -huh, like a <laughs> filling stone? You could call it Lephidolite. Lipidolite for fiddling. Lipidolite for fiddling. That is cute. Have to have some bad puns in the video. Yeah, it's not a good video without some bad puns, I agree. <laughs> so there's my Lipidolite balm. Finally, last but not least, is my new little guy. I never wanted skulls. I thought they were creepy. I had no desire to have them. I felt that way about hearts. And in a minute, I will grab my hearts. And you can see, as a matter of fact, stay right there. Since I'm sitting right here. Never wanted to buy hearts either because I knew that if I bought one, this would happen. And it did. I have a few. I, I have a few. Just, just a little bit. Just a few. So what happened with skulls is kind of similar. I didn't want any. I had absolutely no desire. I thought they were kind of creepy. I thought they were a little macabre. I bought a hematite skull and a pyrite skull from another online group. And um, when I got them home, I realized that they're just another stone. Another carved stone with a completely different type of energy. It's not creepy at all. There's nothing negative that I feel coming from them. There's no kind of evil connotation. It's just a different manifestation of an earthbound crystal. So I kind of fell in love with skulls. I'm not getting rid of them anytime soon. I have them in everything from soapstone and dolomite. Um, I have a labradorite and a fluorite as well. So this is my most recent haul. Again, from the Dirty Rock Shoppers. I will be providing a link to the Facebook page so you can ask to join the group to make your own purchases at amazing prices with amazing people. And um, that'll be added in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Remember, life is what you manifest. Bye-bye.